A powerful, symbolic moment. China's President Xi Jinping arrived by high-speed train at a station that's been closed for two and a half years because of COVID-19. It was a carefully choreographed welcome that included many citizens from mainland China. It'll be a quick visit. And in a short address, the president said he'd been thinking a lot about Hong Kong. Hong Kong endured difficult tests one after another, overcame risk challenges one after the other. After these storms, Hong Kong re-emerged from the fire and was reborn. It's the president's first visit here since protests three years ago, when hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets demanding political reform. On Friday, the president will attend the swearing-in ceremony of Hong Kong's new chief executive, John Lee. That coincides with the 25th anniversary of Hong Kong's return from Britain to China. Until a few days ago, it was still unclear whether Xi Jinping would be coming at all. That's because of another rise in the local COVID-19 infection rate. Xi last left mainland China in January 2020, before his zero COVID policy closed the country's borders, including the one with Hong Kong. There is a strong patriotic theme for this anniversary, Communist Party-style slogans exhort people to celebrate 25 years of Chinese rule. The symbolism is everywhere. Security is extensive. Water barriers deployed once more, as they were during the unrest in 2019. The police now control these streets, a job made easier by the imposition of a national security law that's led to the arrest of more than 150 people. It poured with rain during the handover 25 years ago, and it did so again on Thursday. A tropical storm bearing down on Hong Kong just as the president arrived. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.